Peace and blessings be granted to all my brothers and sisters out here in this world. All glory given to he who lives forever and knows all things, the Alpha and the Omega. Blessed be Jehovah's name and Yeshua HaMashiach name, for he is worthy. All glory given to Yah, for he is worthy. Peace and blessings be granted to my brothers and sisters. It is your brother Jehoshiah Israel here in the house that God has made. And family, until we finish with our show side notes, because, you know, usually I really don't do it like that. I, I really give you a real, real sermon, a real lot of messages. And then I put my inserts, which are my side notes. But I have so many of them on my list. I can just make a whole show out of them, family, and I'm still not done yet. Peace and blessings be granted to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. The first thing that I would like to minister over today is, is this, family. Now, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand my people, black people, so-called African-Americans. I, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now, the white people, they got a certain music called rock and roll. And in rock and roll, they basically worship the devil, family. They, they basically, I'm not saying that all rock and roll that they worship the devil, but it's rock and roll music out there. And they will tell you that they satanic. They will tell you that they worship the devil. You listen to their music. They be casting spells on you. I'm a, I'm a product of the 80s. So I was taught that any rock and roll album, you would take the album, right? And you will put it on the, the eight track. No, it's not the eight track. That was before the eight track. You will put it on the pin, right? And then you would do it. You would you would take the record. You might scratch it up, but you would take the record and you play it backwards and you hear all this satanic stuff, family. But rock and roll people, they will openly tell you that they serve the devil. So why why don't black people understand that? They have a certain type of music that worships and praises the devil. I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Not all rap music should be a form to where everybody is listening to it. And if you if you sit there and you rap, Jesus gave me full permission, family. I, I'm on my sanction time. You know what I'm saying? My father, he told me to get in the house that God has made for this day. For what purpose? I don't know, family. I don't have revival. I don't have revelation. I don't have peace that I can bestow on you. But my father is with us and he will, family. He'll bring you that great revelation. He'll restore your heart and bring you peace, family. All at the same time, family. He will bring you that revival that you need. Just by sitting and listening to your brother Israel here in the house that God has made. So, family, I don't understand, family. Uh, some of our people, they make music and it talks about the degradation of our whole race of people. It talks about killing black people, raping black people, selling drugs to black people, uh, running black people over with cars. It talks about all of this, family. It talks about killing your little brothers, killing your little sisters, killing your neighbors. So why as a people that we don't denounce this music family it's certain white people they don't they don't listen to, to rock and roll music because they know it's of the devil and they music they praise the devil they worship the, the devil they honor the devil and they glorify him now as you look at so-called african americans black people that live here in north america the true house of israel why is it that this music is put on a banister? Why is this this music lifted all the way up to heaven and it's the, the destruction of our own people? I, I don't get it. And then and then, OK, if, if you want to make music like that to condemn your own self, this is the reason why a lot of our brothers and sisters won't be going to heaven. Family, you can be forgiven for a multitude of different things if you are willing to change your ways. You will be forgiven. But what about the things that you do that alter to the minds of so many different people? You won't be forgiven for that. So it's a lot of people. A lot of rappers that sit there and they be all like, yeah, I kill you. I kill you. I kill your mama. I kill you. I kill your daddy. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, I love me some Jesus. I love me some God. I got to have God. Oh, I kill you. I kill your mama. I kill your daddy. I, I ride from you. I break into your house. 
I don't get it, family. My Lord put me up here to put a, div a, a division, a fine line in between his people. That's why he's been telling me about this for the last three weeks now, family. The Lord been on me about this for three weeks now, family. And in this music that we put out, family, it's all death, destruction, and degradation of our own people. Now... White people are at least smart enough to say, OK, well, this music is bad. It's devil worship. It's demon. It's demonic. It's satanic. Why? Why is it that black people don't see certain music that we make as satanic music? Excuse me. <coughs> I got to get my water. Why is it that our people lift this music all the way to the high heavens and everybody does it? Everybody listens to it, but it's not so good for our people, family. We're not talking about R&B music, that the bad R&B that tells you to go out there and sleep around and sleep with your neighbors and sleep with all them people at work and be so promiscuous and be a whoremonger, to be a harlot, to be a straight Jezebel before God's eyes, just to be a straight downright dirty whore in his eyes, family. OK, we're not talking about that, but that's out there. And we have ministered and preached over it several, several times, family, because I want you to keep yourself holy, family. I really do. I want you to keep yourself set apart and holy in God's eyes. And you go out there throwing your body to everybody that is not being holy, family. Last time I checked, Mary Magdalene had six unclean spirits inside of her. How did she get those unclean spirits inside of her? Because her profession was a prostitute and she laid with all them different men. Now, if Mary Magdalene can sit there and lay with a man and get a demon inside of her, what about you, my sister? Can't you get demons inside? This is why people are so damn crazy now, because they got all these different spirits inside of them. Why are they still trying to hold on to their own sanity, their own humanity of who they are, family? Now, if Mary Magdalene could sleep around and her profession was a prostitute and the Lord had to expose sex, six um, demonic spirits out her. What do you think you what do you think you do when you go out there and you be promiscuous and you just lay with people? You're taking on all them different spirits. OK, back to the music family. Now, my brothers, they sit up there and they talk about killing, killing their cells and killing their people and killing little children and killing those brothers on the block and selling drugs and having sex. All of this worse, all of this, all of this music, family, it's in contrary to God, family. If it's not for the edific edification, if it's not for the glorification of the most high, Yah is condemned, family. And I don't understand for the life of me, family, why my people put this music all the way to the high heavens when it's all self-destruction, family. You can say by listening to some uh, rap music, if if OK, now, if it's a sin not to do what God is asking you to do, what do you think listening to 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 rap music is doing for you? Isn't that also a sin, family, 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 family? The failure to do what God is asking you to do is no different than witchcraft. So let's talk about the music that we put out there, family. Now, how is that any different from worshiping the devil? How is that any different from casting spells? How is that any different from contations and, and witchcraft? How is it any different, family? There is no difference in some of the music that we make, family. And I just want to tell my brothers you have a chance in your life now to repent of those things. Now, if you can make a music, if you can make a whole album and you're talking about killing your whole people, you can make another album talking about loving your people and that you were wrong. That's the only way that you're going to you're going to be able to be forgiven for it. If you actually put out music for the masses of so-called black people to listen to and understand that they are loved, understand that God has their back, understand that you made a mistake and you was wrong. If you are not willing to condemn the music that you have made that will alter the minds of so many different black people to put them on the pathways of hell, you will be judged by that family. Not all music that we make is good. The music that teach you to be a little slut and uh, go out there and be promiscuous and R&B. That's not good. I can put up names. Brianna, you know what I'm saying? I can put up names right off the top. Listen to that chick music. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're a woman 
and 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 you're a group like the city girls and all you talk about is sex and taking people money i really haven't heard all of their music but the gist of the music that i have heard do your man wrong cheat on the cheat on these brothers take their money have 10 you're teaching all of this foul behavior that you can't be forgiven for so the next time you cut on the radio, the next time you want to go buy some music, know that all the music that we make, not all of it is good. Some of it is witchcraft. Some some of it is a satanic type work, family. It is, family. It is, family. Side note for the day. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Side note. Yes, it is. Now, this might touch a lot of my people. But when did when did when did black people stop being great? When did we family? When did we? It was at one point that we was here in this country and we were great. We're not so great anymore, family. We're not family. Why is that family? It's a reason for that. Let's go ahead and, and put it in scriptures. The Lord said the. Um, the one of you that wants to be the greatest has to submit themselves and what did the words that he used for it and submit themselves and serve the other person. Black people don't serve other black people anymore. That's why we're not great anymore, family. That it was a point in our history to where we were great, family. Why were we great, Jehoshaphat? Because we served one another, family. What does the scripture say, family? The, the one of you that is the greatest is, is he who serves the, the least, family. Now, as you look at your people nowadays, family, they do not want to serve each other, family. This is when we lost the greatness that was put on us, family. The only way we can get this greatness back on ourselves, family, is for one of us, for us to serve one another. But as you see... So-called African-Americans, family, they ain't trying to serve nobody and they definitely ain't trying to serve themselves. They're not. Our people is not trying to sit here and humble ourselves down to a point to where we could serve one another. Can you imagine this family if all your people would take it upon themselves to serve one another? Nah, these Hebrews, these so-called African-Americans, they, they weren't about robbing each other and stabbing each other and beating each other up and shooting each other and running each other over with cars and stealing each other and raping each other and, and talking smack and gossiping on each other. That's what you see in your people, family. For the life of me, I wondered, family, for so long in my life, I wondered, I said, why do men act like women now? Because black people ain't trying to serve each other now. That's why the, the characteristics that a woman would have. A lot of men have that family because they're too busy about backbiting and gospel. Oh, that Hebrew got this. Oh, I beat that nigga ass. Oh, I do this. Oh, I do that. They ain't worth nothing. They ain't got nothing. They beneath me. Why is that for? Because the attitude that they have towards each other because they are not willing to serve one another. What did the Lord say? The, the one of, of y'all that is the, is the greatest is willing to serve all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So this is why our people is not great anymore. What you mean, Jehosa? What you mean, Jehosa? They said that we uh, black people in America is the is a is a is the the richest black people that live in the whole wide world, Jehosa. You don't know what the hell you talking about. But how much greater will we be, family, as a race of people if your people was willing? To humble themselves, not kill each other, humble themselves, not backbiting gossip, humble themselves, not run each other over with cars, humble themselves, not be out here shooting each other, humble themselves, not out here beating each other up and starting all these turf wars and gangs killing each other. You know what I'm saying? You see the streets, family. You see how your people act in the streets, family. This is the reason why we're not great anymore. Jehosa, Jehosa, why are we not, brother? Joe Israel, why are we not great anymore? Because your people is not willing to serve one another, family. They're not willing. That's why the, the greatness that we had on us, family, we don't have that anymore, family. And, and the damn the shame, we won't get that back until the black man and the black woman is willing to humble themselves to their own people, family. And then that's when we can be great again. Side note for the day. Uh, yeah, I didn't say you had to like it. Yes, ma'am. 
Yes, sir. Side note, yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Side note, yes, it is. Now, shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer warriors. Hallelujah. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer saints. Hallelujah. Shouts out to the nine o'clock prayer healers. Hallelujah. Come get yourself. Come get yourself. Come get yourself. Don't trick yourself, family. Treat yourself, family. Come give us your five, your 10, your 15 minutes. And I promise you, this hour will grow on you, family. It'll be something that you will implement so coldly in your heart that it, it you'll be so accustomed to it to where you'll do it i don't want to say man like it's mandatory you'll come willingly come with your heart family come with your prayers family come with your problems jesus want all your problems family yes he does family he wants you to lay him down at your feet your father wants to be worshiped he wants to be praised he wants to be edified by you my brother by you, my sister, through your prayer. So come with us, family. Come with us. It's so much different strongholds that are being broken down. It's so many different people that are being set free. It's so many people that are being healed and being blessed. And the chains of bondage are being cut from their feet, family. All them back, backsliding, backsliding out in the world. Even them come, they come and they get healed, family. And they don't want to go out in that world like that. So... Don't trick yourself, family. Treat yourself. Come get yourself some of this time, family, that you need, family. Family, we pray all day long, family. I couldn't even start my day without praying or even be able to make it through my day without prayer. But come with your brothers and sisters in the body of Yahshua. Come come get wrapped up in this great spirit and prayer at nine o'clock, family. Give us your five, your 10, your 15 minutes and you will be blessed. I promise you this, family, and I could put my name, I could put my, my Lord name behind it, Jesus Christ. I put his name behind it, but you will see this greatness manifested in your life or you if you're willing to give. Now, a personal side note from your brother, family, it's like family, it's like, remember I told y'all like, like years and years ago, family, it, if 10 years go by and you don't give God $10,000, something is wrong with you, family. I'm not even playing with you, family. The Lord, he came to me. He was all like, Jehosa, I, I want you to, I want you, it's time for you to pay your tithes and pay your offerings. I want you to bring $1,000 to the church. That's what he told me, family. So, you know, I'm an obedient servant. That's what I did, family. You understand? Know I scraped up my little coins. I got all my, my co it took me a minute, but you know, I got it, you know, family. And I went to the church and I, and I paid the church. I gave him a thousand. It's not like I'm really giving him anything, family, because he gives me the will. He gives me the strength. He gives me the opportunity to make and do so much. I'm just giving him back what he has already given me. So it's not like I'm really giving him anything. But I'm I'm watching now in my life, family, that after I after I gave God his money, family, OK, it was a chunk of money. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm not going to be cheap with God because y'all never has been cheap with me, family. I'm just seeing all these doors and all of these windows being opening up and all these blessings just pouring down on me, family, just for me doing what I'm supposed to do. So. Sister, if your coin purse is getting a little low, brother, if your pocketbook is getting a little low, you need to check what you be doing. You know what I'm saying? Brother, I, I only I know you made twenty seven thousand dollars last year, but one thousand seven hundred of that was to the Lord. Sister, I know you made thirty thousand dollars last year. Three thousand of those dollars is to the Lord and you will be a damn fool to sit up here and put that money in your pocket and think God going to bless you. It doesn't work that way, family. It does not work that way. So on my own personal side note for tonight, family, if you want to be blessed in your finances, you better pay what you owe, family. I kept on telling your father that he is the God of the lost and found, family. What does that mean to you and your, and your life? I was lost, family, and he found me, family. He is the God of lost and found, family. He is the God of uh what is the proper name for, of comfort all day long family he's been comforting me i feel so sorry for people that 
you know, they don't have God in their life telling them about their stuff. I, okay, I bring everything to God, family, everything. E even if it's a stub toe, I don't care what problem it is. I bring all this stuff to God, family, in prayer. And your father is supposed to be there for you, telling you what he's going to do for you. And to ease your mind, child, to ease your mind, brother, to ease your mind, sister, of all of that stress of what you're going through. You can't you can't have the great comforter coming to you in your life and give you comfort if you're not willing to submit to him. And I'm ever so grateful, family. I'm ever so grateful, my brothers and sisters out there in the world, that he would take it upon himself and comfort me all day long. He's been telling me stuff about me and my life, family. And I'm ever so grateful. He is the great comforter, family. He is the God of lost and found. You was lost. Now you are found. So let's go ahead and get into the side notes for the night. Side note number one. Even though I said it, that was my own personal side notes. So we, we got some some to go through, family. But that was just personal on my head, family. Okay, people cuss God out and they don't believe in him. Back in the day of, of old, curses. I'm sorry. How did I write this? People curse God out and they don't believe in him. People back in the days of old cursed him because they didn't want to follow after him and only him. Back in Noah's days, all people had to do is do good and only good. Now, Noah's time and our time is kind of similar, family. It is, family. All God wants you to do, family, is to do good in your daytime, family. That's it, family, to love on him, worship him, praise him, honor him, love his son. Don't disrespect your great Holy Spirit. Do what the Lord tells you to do and do good. But it's so many different people that will curse God out in his face because they do not want to follow him. People back in the day, at least they were they were smart enough to know that there was a God to curse him out. And they didn't want to follow him. Nowadays, people curse God out and don't even know that they cursing God out because there is a forever living God, family. But our times and our days is almost the same, family. God wants to be worshipped. He wants to be praised in your life, brother. He, he does not want you to be ashamed of him and your love of him, family. God gave me a revolution, a revelation a couple days ago. He was all like, well, you know, you know, Jehosa, the reason why the evil could see you so close is because you got my name in your forehead. On top of your head is a crown. You have the crown of life. You have the crown of salvation. You have the crown of joy. You have the crown of peace. You got the crown of love. Your your master yoke is around your neck. Your master has given you the triad stone in your hand. Your master has given you the key of David. So when evil looks at us, family, they see the crowns of glory on your head. They see the name of your father in your head. They see your 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 master's yoke around your neck. They see that you have the precious key of David in your hand, family. And you also have the triad stone in your hand. So the evil, they could see that family. That's why it's so easy to see a child of God for the people, the evil ones. You was always wondering like, how, how, how did Joseph, I didn't even speak, brother. I didn't even say nothing. They didn't even give me a chance to say nothing, Joseph, before they started to hate on me. Brother, you got crowns on your head. Jehoshaphat, they be hating on me and I ain't never did nothing to them. They don't even know my name, Jehoshaphat. Sister, you got the key of David in your hand. You have the precious triad stone in your hand with your master's yoke around your neck. And you also have the key, the, you have the, um, the crown of life on your head. You have the crown of joy on your head. The crown of salvation on your head. They can see all these things. You might not see it in the spiritual condition that you is because you are a man or a woman of flesh. We cannot really see into the, the, the spiritual like that. You might get a glimmer of an angel or a demon, but you're not. That's about it, family. You know what I'm saying that's about it in, in your home. You might see a demon. You might see an angel. But other than that, you're not going to see the precious 
triad stone in your hand. You are not going to see the key of David in your hand. You are not going to see all the emeralds and all the jewelry that your father, the great God of the heavens and the earth, has placed on his child. But the evil sees it, family. The evil out that door sees you shining a mile away, family. So what, what do you expect, family? What do you expect? You, you didn't have to do nothing. You didn't have to say nothing. It's all them crowns you got on your head, sister. You know what I'm saying, brother? You walking around with the key of David in your hand to where... Your father has placed doors that no man can close. They mad at that, brother. They mad at the fact that they yo, they over here trying to close doors, but they know they can't close them because your father has already opened them up. Your Lord has given you the key of David. Your Lord has given you his yoke. Your father has given has placed his name on your forehead. People wondering around about the mark of the beast. When you got the yo, yah. The, the mighty Jehovah, the great God of the heavens and the earth, name in your forehead. That's why they can see you a mile away. That's why you are giving the business. That's why you are treated in, in the such of a fashion of the manner that you that you see that you have to deal with each and every day. And you haven't done any things to these people. Why? Because all the precious jewels that your father has anointed you with that they can see, but you can't see. Can I get a hallelujah for his glory? Can I give a hallelujah for his mercy? Can I get a hallelujah for his grace? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Put your hands all the way up to Zion's for you have been blessed by Jehovah himself. All glory given to Jehovah. Okay, I can go ahead and mark this one off the list. Okay. Side note number two. Uh, yes, ma'am. No, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Side note. Yes, it is. Are there signs around you? Do you have a warning inside yourself to alert you? Yah shows signs and wonders. He is the God of mystery and truth. Things that are hidden. So, family, I could tell you right off the top. Your God don't want you looking for signs, family. But at the same time, inside of you, family, I don't want to say it's your gut instinct, family, but you need to listen to your, you, you would be better off listening to your gut instinct than for you to look for a sign. Yo, that's like, family, that's like, a, I, I had to find out the hard way, family. I had to find out the hard way. What you find out, Israel, what you find out the hard way, that a man is not supposed to take any advice from a woman. He is not family. He is not family. Every single time I have took advice from a woman, something bad happened. The situation didn't go good. A man has to stand on his own feet and do what's best as that man has to do accordingly. It's the same thing like you sitting over there looking for a sign. If you look for that sign, family, something bad is going to happen, family. But you do have something inside of yourself that's going to alert you, my brother. That is going to alert you, my sister, to the truth of what you have to do. Do not be out there looking for signs for you will fail every single time, family. Our God is the God of mystery, of wonder, of all these hidden things that are hidden from us. And he'll bring these things to us. But we are not supposed to be looking for signs. And some of my sisters, they'd be like, oh, Jehovah, you rogue, brother. You rogue. I can't get my grandson some advice. But your, your advice is for a woman, and it's going to hurt that your grandson. Jehovah, I can't give my son no good advice. The advice that I'm talking about is the advice that a man has to make on his own. He has to walk his pathway his own. You know what I'm saying? He cannot go to a woman and ask that woman what he should do when he is a man. It doesn't work that way. That man, that young man, or it doesn't really matter how old you are. If that young man or old man go to another man, those men is going to tell that man what he better do and what he bet not do. A man cannot take advice from a woman. It's no different than looking for signs. That man will fail all the time. Now, a woman can take advice from a man. She can. She can get good advice. She can get good counsel from a man. But a man cannot get good counsel from a woman. Every single time, 
family, family, are you listening to me? Every single time I went out that door and I and I asked the woman, you know what I'm saying? Either it be my auntie, my 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 uh my great auntie, my grandma, my mama, my sister, any of those things involving a man and what he should do. Little things that are around the house and stuff like that, that's different, family. But I'm talking about major decisions that that man has to make in his life. That man has to do what he has to do inside of his own self and what he know is right. He cannot listen to a woman or he's going to be in trouble, family. He's going to be in some big trouble, family. Now, I didn't see this personally through my life about 10 to 15 times. Do you think? Jehoshaphat Israel would be foolish enough to have something so big on my plate and I go ask my mama. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I don't have to bust my con my forehead on that concrete and fail every single time again, family. Again, I asked it and then something bad happened. Then I asked another woman and some. Why is that? Because a man is not supposed to ask advice from a woman because he is a man, family. It's a difference between a man and a woman, family. We are the head, family. And I'm sorry. The head has to rule, family. Take it for however you want to take that one, family. I, I meant what I said, family. I really did. To all my brothers and all my brothers out there, I hope you are listening, family. Don't go over there asking them females no questions or you're going to be in bad trouble. Side note number two. Uh, yes, ma'am. No, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. Side note number three. Sometimes, sometimes the little you have is more than you need. And if you had more, it would not be better than the first. Can you imagine that family? Can you imagine right now in your life, brother, right now in your life, sister, the little that you have is more better than you hitting the lotto. It's more better if you went if you went right now to your mailbox and somebody sent you a fifty thousand dollar check. That five hundred dollars that you had is even more better than that. And, and some of my brothers are sitting there. No, it's not. You hope No, it's not. No, it's not. If I had fifty thousand dollars, you hope so. It would be better than five hundred. Uh, uh, family, you're a child of God. So, let me read it to you again. Sometimes the little you have is more than you need. And if you had more, it would not be better than the first. So be grateful, family. Be thankful, family, because that little that you have is all that you need. And if you had more, it still wouldn't be better than the little that you had, family. I'm just saying, family, it, he had a Ford Fiesta. Hatchback. That car got him everywhere. It kept good mileage. He was able to transport his goods, able to make it to work. But he wanted another car. Now that other, he wanted a Ford Fusion. You know what I'm saying? Now he wanted, he wanted a Ford Fusion. He got the Ford Fusion. Now he has to pay more on his insurance. Now he has to pay more on his gas. Now he has to get it washed all the time and be worrying about people putting dings on it. He got all these damn problems with now that he got the Ford Fusion. But when he had the Ford Fiesta family, he was just fine. Sometimes, family, the little that you have is more... How did I write it? Sometimes the little you have is more than you need. And if you had more, it would not be better than the first. Side note. Yes, it is. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Because <laughs> some of y'all is mad at that. They all sitting over there like talking about, oh, Jehosa, what are you talking about, Jehosa? I got a one-bedroom apartment. I get it. Jehosa, when I lay down in my bed, I touch my, I, I touch, my head is touching the front door and my feet is touching the back door. But I'm just telling you, family, sometimes the little that you have is better, more better for you than if you had a gang of stuff. Sometimes the little that you get, family, the little bit that you had, he was starving, family. Somebody gave my brother a bologna sandwich. He ate the bologna sandwich. He happy. He prayed for it. He got a big meal later on, and he was still thinking about that damn bologna sandwich. Why is that? Because sometimes the little that you have is more than you need. And if you had more, it still not, would not be better than the first. Side note, yes it is, yes ma'am, no sir, side note, yes it is, yes sir, yes ma'am.
Side note, yes it is. Okay, what we got on the back? Yeah, we went over this because black people stop. What is it? Um, coding your music. If you want to serve the devil, just say it. Do you do you call a bird a dog and a cat a goat? So I really meant that. You know what I'm saying? If if you wanna if you wanna worship the devil in your music, just go ahead and give him glory, family. All of y'all need to get the music that I'm talking about and classify it as something. Just like the white people did. They classified hard rock as devil music. We need to do the same thing with our music, family. I really meant that because the Lord put that on my plate because he's tired, family. He's tired, family. He's tired of all of y'all sitting there on the same music like that. You know what I'm saying? Glorifying it all the way to heaven like it's something good. Even Jesus got mad at y'all, family. I'm, I'm just relaying what he said, family. You don't have to believe me, family. But just like I said, family, if it's a sin not to do what God is asking you to do, wouldn't it also be a sin to listen to music that tell you to kill people and sell drugs and, and have sex and do all of this stuff? It's still a sin, family. And, and some of my brothers be like, whoa, 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 Jehosa, you being too hard on you. That came from your Jesus Christ. That didn't come from me, family. I'm just relaying a message to you. That's it. Okay, now. Side note number four, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, side note, yes, it is. Now, uh, a lot of my people, they they would argue me up and down. They'd be like, well, you know, Jehosa, well, you know, this tribe, they, the brother, brother, this tribe and that tribe, they, they like us and then they are people and this and this and that. Okay, family, last time I checked. Look at the new people that's getting reparations. If we were the same people, family, we would be getting reparations, too. So this should show my non-believing Hebrew brothers that those are not our brothers like that. They're getting reparations. Last time I checked, we the only race of people that deserve it. And we're not even they not they're not even talking about it like that. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's get back into this. Side note number four. What does reparations look like for so-called black people in North America? Now, family, what does our reparations look like? I'm sorry to tell you. Ain't nobody going to be cutting no checks like that. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm sorry, my sister. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to break you off. They're not going to pay what's owed. But your master said that the first shall be last, family. That's what he said, family. And your people has been last for so long. So, so that should tell you that they're going to be first. That's our reparations. We will be in control of North America. You don't have to like it. You don't have to understand. 50, 60, 70 years can go on and it can come to. Uh, I can't even say it for wishes. It will come to pass, family. The first will be last, family. You know what I'm saying? So what is the opposite of the first being last? The people who's always last is going to be first. That is your reparations. You will control North America from the governments, from the militaries, from the air forces, from the, the medical to every every aspect of, of America life. That's your reparations. You will control America. You will be in control of America. That is black so-called African-Americans. That is your reparations. Side note for the night. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes. Sir. But Jehosa, I wanted some money, Jehosa. Brother, brother, my grandma was on the plantation and she barely came out in the 1920s and told us so. I understand all of that. I understand redlining and sharecropping. Family, this weekend, family, I was, I, family, my grandma Livingston, she was born in like the 1900s, the early 1900s, and all she used to do was watch black cowboy movies. That's what I was doing all all weekend long, family. And and the shame about it is watching an old black cowboy movie is like watching a movie about slavery. You know saying? It's about your people, family. All weekend long, family, I was getting buffed up. I was watching some slavery movies too, but that's what I was doing on the weekend, family. And your people... 
They've been last a whole lot, family. They've been going through a whole lot, family. But you cannot change the word of God, family. You cannot, family. Not even a little bit, family. Those principles of those structures of those powers are already going across the world at least two times a day, family, to make sure that his judgment of his precious life, Rod, Father... Father, I bless your rod. Father, thank you for your rod. Master, thank you for your precious whip. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, thank you for your rod. His judgments go around the world at least two times a day, family, making sure that his judgments is enacted, family. So if there's nothing you can do to change this, family. Your people has been last on everything for so long, family. And you'd be like, well, you know, Jehosa, we only 8% or 3% of the overall population. How are we going to change? How are we going to be in control? You cannot change the word of God, family. God stays true to all of his words, family. And your people has been on the bottom for so long. So that should tell you that they're going to be on top. Your reparations is this country. People don't like that. They don't have to like that I said it. They could think I'm playing a joke. 50 years could go across. But I'm telling you, one day it will happen. And that'll be your reparations. I'm sorry that you wanted a million dollars. You're not going to get it like that. But you'll be in control. That's good enough for me. Side note for the night. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. And we already went to this. When did so-called black people stop being great? Let him among you serve the lesser. I'm telling you, family, that's when we stopped being great. When we was not willing to serve one another. That's why we're not great like that, family. If your people was willing to serve one another, family, to put themselves beneath themselves, humble themselves, and lift their brother up, all of us will be lifted up. Because we'll be trying to lift everybody up. Your brothers is up over here tearing everybody down, family, killing everybody, raping everybody, stealing from everybody, beating everybody up, running everybody over, setting everybody on fire, hanging everybody. They're doing all of that, family. This is why our people is not great anymore. And you do not have to like that I have that I had to say it, family, for all of this stuff was put on my plate and I have to go over it with you. Now, we almost wrapping up because, you know, I got me a good hour before the nine o'clock per hour and i'm just getting in now side note number five yes ma'am no sir side note yes it is yah is it yah is not god in your in your conscience you are your inner voice your inner your yah is not your inner voice so a lot of people like, what do you mean, Jehosa? What do you mean? You should be able to hear your inner voice. Your inner voice, that is you. Your inner voice is not God, family. You know what I'm saying? That's not God, family. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's you, family. But you should be able to distinguish. That's why he wanted me to go over it. Because maybe a lot of people think their inner voice is God. And it's just them. It is not God, family. You should be able to distinguish God from yourself. You should be able to distinguish God from the devil from yourself. Those are three different things, family. I'm not going to put in demons. I'm not going to put in unclean spirits. I'm not even putting them in there. I'm just putting in God, you, and the devil. Those are all three different things that's running inside of your inside of your soul, family, inside of your mind, inside of your thinking process. You should be able to understand when God is talking to you, I tell you off the top, God is not loud. God is very peaceful. God is only going to tell you stuff that you know that you're not going to do. You're not going to tell yourself to do that stuff. You're not because you don't have it in you to tell yourself and to do that. God is not going to be telling you lies. God is not going to tell you to hurt nobody. God is going to tell you to help people. And he's going to be very calm. And you should know that that is God speaking to you that it, that is the most high yeah see we live in this world and they would sit there and they'd be like you crazy you crazy you crazy you got these voices talking in your head but that's not what the bible says family the bible says that you got voices in your head are you crazy no you're not crazy family crazy people talk to themselves and they answer their own questions they sit up and have whole conversations with themselves and then they portray their own self outside of their body answering all them damn questions 
We're not talking about crazy people. We're talking about the ever living God, the God of the lost and found, the great redeemer, the great comforter. You should be able to know when he is talking to you, family. You should be able to know when the devil is trying to invade your thoughts and you have to bring all them thoughts under submission. You should be able to know what your inner thought, your inner voice, your inner man, your inner voice. That is not God. Your inner, your inner man, your inner voice, your inner woman, the inner voice. That is not the devil. You know what I'm saying? That is you, family. That's you. You have to learn in your life when God is speaking. When the devil is speaking or when you is just running your mouth in your head, family. Side note. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Side note. Yes, it is. Y'all will use the bad things for your advantage. Y'all will use your good for his advantage. Who who will he help today? So can you imagine, family, that all of that bad stuff that happened to you in your life, God is using all of that for your good? Can you imagine, family, that the good that you do, God uses all of that for his advantage, family? The reason why you went over there to do that good is so he can be glorified through you, family. But all that bad stuff that will happen, that happens to us daily, family, he will use all of that for your benefit. He will use all of that to make you grow a, a bigger backbone. He will use all of that so you can conquer all of your problems, all of your woes, all of your situations just in your life. If you love him, if you trust him, if you believe in him, if you follow after his commandments, his laws, his limitations, his judgments, if you enact a proper judgment, family, he will use your bad for your advantage. And, you know, when when you when you crossing that that creaky road and, and it's all dark and ain't no light and, and the road is about to give way on that bridge, you think it's all bad, family. But when you make it past that family, he's going to use all those things for your embetterment. So when you are going through the storm, no family, it's going to be a smooth selling as soon as you get through that storm, family. And all those things that you went through, you're going to love that you went through those things. No, it's not Jehovah. See, you see them fake people? No, it's not Jehovah. I had to do this, and I had to go through that, and I broke my damn back, Jehovah. I was suffering, Jehovah. Didn't nothing happen. Because you wasn't following after his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his limitations, his judgments. You wasn't doing none of that stuff, family. That's why it all worked bad for you, family. But a child of God, someone that is willing to follow after his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his limitations, his precepts to enact a proper judgment. Everything bad that will happen to a child of God is used for their advantage. Yah uses our good for his advantage. Who will we help today? Or betterly said, who will he help through you today? Side note, yes it is, yes ma'am, yes sir, side note, yes it is. Family, have you ever seen evil trying to apologize for being evil? Have you ever seen that family? I, I, I'm just asking a personal question to my brothers and sisters out there. Have you ever seen somebody so damn evil and they did you evil? They have wronged you, my brothers and sisters. And then they came up to you trying to apologize for the evil that they do. It's a damn shame, family. You probably ain't heard it in a long time. It's a damn shame, family. But it happens all the time, family. The evil don't want to be beat down by God. So it's going to hurry up and try to try to make it right, even though it's evil, family. It's a damn shame, family. That's why I say to you, have you ever seen evil trying to apologize for being evil? Put your hands up in the air if you have seen it, because you already know that you are blessed by he who lives forever and knows all things. The mighty God of the heavens and the earth. Now, this is going to make a lot of black people mad because that, that's that's what y'all be doing, family. And the saying right now, uh, I just read it. Not all men are kings. Not all women are queens. Only in your own home shall you be. I'm sorry. Only in your own home shall you be king. 
the kingdom of the rest. So I really mean that, family. Some of your some of your sisters, they're 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 not queens. They're just they're just misses. Some of your sisters, some of them are virtuous. Some of them are good women. Some of them are mad madams. But not all of them are queen. We can only have one queen, family. That's the problem right now with our people, with us lifting up all this damn evil. Everybody wants to be a queen, and we can only have one, family. Family, not all your brothers are kings. In their home, okay? In her home, she can be the queen. She is the queen of her house, but not in the streets, family. I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. So, uh, Not all of my brothers are are kings family some of them are soldiers some of them are lieutenants some of them are generals some of them are enforcers some of them are prospects not all of them can be the king family we only need one king last time i checked family there is only one president family there's only one governor there's only one mayor there's only one chief of police family there's only one president of the naacp family there's only one family they can't be. And, and that's the problem with our people. Everybody wants to be the king and they don't want to play their position. Everybody has a role that they have have to play. Everybody has a certain position that they have to play. And in and, and my brother's per position, he's an enforcer. He's not the king. Everybody. My brother, he. He's not. A king, but he's the general. You know what I'm saying? That is his part that he has to play. He has to be the best general that he can be, family. Some of my brothers are just soldiers. They are not king. It is their job to be the best soldier that they can. Some of my sisters are prospects. You know what I'm saying? She's not the queen. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all gonna sit there and hate and hate that I said it, but it, it's it's like the old saying. Everybody wants to be the chief. Don't nobody wants to be the Indian. And that's what's wrong with our people, family. That's what's wrong with our people. We're not willing to serve one another. That's why we're not great anymore, family. Not everybody can be the king. We only need one. We need a whole lot of generals. We need a whole lot of soldiers. We need a whole lot of enforcers. We need a whole lot of generals. We need a whole lot of lieutenants. We need a whole lot of soldiers on the battlefield. We only have one four-star general. We don't need no more. We just need that one four-star general, family. So I want you to put that in your mind. And my father has put this on my plate. I have my sanctioned time to go through these things. So I have brought them before you. Don't feel bad that you're not the king. You're the king in your household. That's where your rest will be. Sister, you're the queen in your household. But when you go outside that door... Just a prospect. Brother, when you go outside that door, you're just a lieutenant. Brother, when you go outside that door, you're just a general. You know what I'm saying? My sister, when you go outside that door, it's your job to be a soldier. It's not your job to be the queen. We only need one queen. My sisters need one woman to look up to so they can act the way that she act. So hopefully that woman will lift up good and my sisters will be doing good. But the queen that they worship and they follow after, that woman is evil. That's why they're evil. My brothers, they need a good king. You know what I'm saying? They need a good king at the top. Not all can be the king. We only need one. You know what I'm saying? One. Now, my brothers, they following after the, the evil princes of Israel. That's why they're doing bad now. If they was to follow after that one man that followed after. After Yah, the Most High Yah, then we all would be blessed. But we have the mindset to turn our back on one another and make our own selves God in our own little personal world. It doesn't work that way. I need you as much as you need me. You need them as much as they need you. We all need each other. And it's a damn shame that our people is running around here killing each other and doing all of this stuff when it's already been said that 18% of the men, of our men, our brothers is having all of these babies. So we're family. You know what I'm saying? If we if you didn't believe in slavery that we was family, you should know that we're family now. But we always been one people. We always been one race. The blood that I have inside of my veins, you have that same blood, but you take no pride in it. And you go out there and you make your people a mockery and shame your own people. And if you're not doing these things, it doesn't apply to you. We are of one people, family. We have always been this way, family. 
in slavery days. Your people have been enslaved so many times, family. Back in your great, great grandparents, when they were slaves here in America, even then, to this day, family, we are the same people. Now y'all have proof. You have proof. Only 18% of the men are having all these damn babies. So we're all family over here. And you can't treat your own people good? You can't treat, oh, oh, Jehosa, them niggas ain't my cousins. Yes, they are. They're your distant cousins. Might be fourth or sixth or eighth removed, but that is your family. Unless your ass just got off a boat right now and you came from Africa, we are one house, the house of Israel. We're one people, one family, and we have the same blood, the same lineage. The only reason why we're not great is because your brothers is out here killing each other and robbing each other and stealing from each other and beating up each other, killing each other for names and colors and areas when they're supposed to be lifting each other up. But... My brothers, just like I said, they got an evil king and all he knows is how to do is evil. So he lifts up evil. So that's what we're going to do. My sisters over there, they got an evil queen that they all follow after. You know what I'm saying? That's why they are just going to be doing evil and doing bad and continue to be cursed until we knock these people off positions and put somebody up there that's going to love on our God, worship on our God, praise on our God. That's the only how we're going to make it and be good in the sight. Now, this has been your brother, Jehoshaphat Israel. If you can put your hands up to heaven. Father, we come to you humble in this day. Great God of the heavens and the earth, mighty Jehovah. We thank you for your son. We thank you for your great Holy Spirit. We thank you for the day that you have given us to praise and worship you, Father. Thank you for this day that you have given us. Father, I ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I ask that you bless the fruits of my brothers and sisters' mind to keep them seven steps ahead of any evil principality that would try to hinder or afflict my brothers. I ask that you bless the fruits of their body to keep them away from any sickness, disease, pain, ailments, infirmities from the devil on their body. I ask that you bless their body, heal their body, give them vibrant and youth in their body to where they were back in the days when they used to run so free in your world. Father, all my brothers and sisters who have never felt your presence, I ask that you knock them down, y'all. I ask that you knock them down wherever they might be so they can feel the presence of God in their life to let them know that you are God. There is none other, and you have all power, for you are a great God. Father, I ask that you bless their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives, their complete household covered in the blood of the precious lamb. I ask that you rain down all of your mercy, all of your grace, all of your peace, all of your blessings, all of your healing upon us and on our family. Father, the love that you have given us for our master, I ask that it be a burning beacon light to bring so many people into your greatness, into your good, for you are a great God, for you are a mighty God. There is none other. We bless your name in Jesus Christ's name, for you are worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. But until next time, family, I'm still not done with side notes. You see how it is, family? I, I'll be back, family. As soon as he tell me, family, I'll be back, family. But until next time, all glory give and thank you to all my brothers and sisters who have prayed for me. Come get yourself some of this nine o'clock prayer. We got like 40 minutes running up, family. Come get yourself. Come get yourself some. But until next time, all glory given to Yah, for he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his glory, his might, his strength in Jesus Christ's name, for he is worthy.